Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about pocket management. So when I say pocket management, I mean literally, I have all this magic to carry around, where am I gonna keep it? So if you're wearing a coat, just like me, or a blazer, or a sports coat, you have multiple pockets now. So you have one, two, three, four, five pockets just in your coat, plus you have your six, seven, your front pockets, eight, nine, your rear pockets. So that's technically nine pockets that you have to put things in. So now, let's just say we've taken up all nine of those pockets. How can I better manage my pockets when I'm gonna be doing magic routines? Well, number one, the trick is to try to have one effect take up as little pocket space as possible. So, for example, if you have one trick that requires you to fill three pockets, that's now two tricks that you cannot use because you don't have the space for them. Right? Makes sense. Another thing that you need to take into consideration is how many effects can I fit in one pocket? So, for example, if I have a deck of cards plus a little thin wallet with a packet trick or two in it, I can keep that in one pocket. So now technically that's two or three different effects that I would have just in one pocket. All right? Another thing that you guys can do is wear some sort of uh, vest or even a good friend of mine named Mike Armstrong, he actually creates these, these uh, they're almost like suspenders, but they have little uh, pouches and, and places you can store things on them. So it's like a storage unit uh, that you wear, almost like suspenders. So you have even more places to put things. As cheesy as this is, you can wear some kind of thing on your belt. Not, doesn't have to be a fanny pack, and for my English friends, I know you guys love that term fanny pack, but uh, doesn't have to be, you know, like a stereotypical fanny pack that like, a, you know, like a tourist would be wearing. But uh, you guys can get these like little bags that they clip onto your belt and you can easily store extra items like coins or decks of cards, thumb tips, sponge balls, whatever you need to. You can put them inside there so that you're freeing up pocket space. Now, the last thing that I would suggest when it comes to managing your pockets is making sure that whatever routines you perform, they start and they end with the items coming out of and going back into the same pockets. So here's an example. Let's just say I'm gonna perform a sponge ball routine, right? And I have two sponge balls in the left pocket and one sponge ball in the right pocket. If I perform through the entire routine and at the very end, all three sponge balls end up in the left pocket, but I need one of them in the right pocket to steal out during the routine. What that means is after I'm done performing and in between sets, I have to reach into my pocket, take the sponge ball out, move it into this pocket. Now I know that doesn't sound like a lot of work, but let's just say you're performing five or six routines and you need to do that with like all of them. Now in between sets, you're sitting in the corner resetting all of your pockets, and that's gonna take a really long time. Plus, if you forget to reset something, you're gonna be going through your routine, and you're gonna be reaching in your pocket to steal something, like a sponge ball, and, oh uh, crap, it's not there, it's in this pocket. And now you've stopped, you've missed a beat, the misdirection might not work, people see you fishing in your pockets for something, and it just looks really suspicious, right? And the last, last piece of advice for you guys that I can give is, when it comes to managing your pockets, the best way to free up space in your pockets is not to overload them with magic. If you're going out to do a strolling or table hopping routine, you don't need to have more than like five pieces of magic on you at any given time. You don't have to load up your pockets with 30,000 different tricks that you're gonna perform because you only really need to perform four or five routines throughout the evening. Now it's nice to have extra routines just in case you want to do like an encore performance or if a spectator's already seen something and they bring their friends over like, hey, the magician's here, can you show them some tricks too? And you don't want to do the same set because he's already seen it, then it's okay to have a couple of extra tricks up your sleeve. But having said that, you have nine pockets if you're wearing a suit. You probably have 12 or 13 if you're wearing a vest underneath it. And you know, if your shirt has a pocket, that's an extra pocket as well. You don't need to have one or two tricks in every single pocket. You don't need to be there with 15 to 20 tricks ready to go. Having five, maybe six tops is all you're gonna need 
just in case you have to do an encore performance because realistically if you're performing for like eight to ten minutes for one group you're only really doing three or four routines for that group and then you're going to move on to the next group and you're going to do the same three or four routines you're just going to do that all night you don't need to do a different set for every single group that's what separates a professional from an amateur the professional is going to think smarter not harder so those are some advice uh, some tips on how to best manage your pockets when you're performing. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. If you liked this video and you want to see more like it, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications so that you know every time I upload a new video. If you have any questions for me, be sure to leave a comment below. If it's about this particular topic, I'll be happy to expand on it in the comment section. If you have a question about a future topic and it's not something I can answer in just a, a, a typed comment here in the comment section, I will be happy to make a video on that question and address it so that you know you guys get as much value out of this as possible. But anyways, thank you so much for watching everyone and until next time, keep practicing.